Yesterday evening, I get a message January 17th, 2022. Brianna was found that she was in Rutland Regional Medical Center in Rutland, Vermont. This evening, being January 18th, 2022, I'm getting messages saying that Brianna's in Burlington ER. Why is Brianna from Rutland to Burlington? Well, we're going to find that out because I just got a recorded conversation on how Brianna's doing and how she's feeling. And it's not a good situation. I hold Northeast Kingdom Mental Health Services in the state of Vermont, including, but not limited to, everybody involved. She was doing fine when she was with me. Detective Graham Gate, you should be making contact because it holds you responsible for this as well. Then her call went dead. With that being said, my phone is not working right now. So, um, I just want to make it known that everybody that's been involved in this, I'm keeping tabs. And that's why I keep on adding to the lawsuit filing. So, I have an advocate. I have a caseworker. Because why? Because I've been part of a human trafficking case and my daughter was part of a human trafficking and sex trafficking case. And I got out of the sex trafficking situation. Mm -hmm. And you see, that was in 2017 when I got away from it. My daughter has been trying to get away from it. But Vermont's been overseeing it without a doubt. I have all reason to believe because we have the proof that it started with who? Border Patrol, which is Homeland Security. Jeffrey Hare. Brian was 14 years old. And now they're trying continuously to make Brianna feel so guilty and suicidal that she doesn't want to live anymore. This is abuse. This is a violation of her rights. I don't know what you fucking people don't understand about that. But you make me sick. Those of you that haven't reached out to help but continue to watch. This is not a movie. This is reality.